get these materials out. Your shirt, the athletic tail design, the envelope containing your we did letters and clip art, and a piece of craft paper. Cotton blend shirt. Polyester, nylon, or silk material will melt in the heat press. Check the spelling of your design. If you press a misspelled word, it will be on the shirt permanently. Make sure that all the weeded material has been removed from the design. Make sure there is no dirt or graphite on the backing sheet. Cut off any portion. These are the parts of the heat press. The heat platen, this is what gets hot. Do not touch the heat platen. The silicone pad, your shirt mounts on the silicone pad. The lockdown lever and handle. You need heat and pressure to permanently affix this uh, design to your shirt. And in this area, we have the toggle switch, which turns the machine on. And here, we have the temperature gauge and the time setting to 350 degrees. As you watch these instructions, take note of the written instructions taped up at your workstation. Refer to these instructions as necessary. Front of the shirt or the back of the shirt. Mount the shirt on the silicone pad with the side you want the design on up. Smooth out all the wrinkles. When mounting hooded sweatshirts, the hood must be tucked in between the back of the silicone pad and the metal frame of the machine. Your hands will be very close to the platen, so make sure that you don't touch the top. all wrinkles and removes any moisture you may have on the machine on the plate the design on the shirt making sure that it is straight horizontally and centered vertically when placing a design on the back of a hooded sweatshirt place it below the hood so your design is not covered up Then place your craft paper on top of the design. Then remove the craft paper and very carefully Put the craft paper back on top and press. As you watch these instructions, take note of the written instructions taped up at your workstation. Refer to these instructions as necessary.
lay your letters out on the table just as you would read them with the shiny side up. If you're trying to get them in a straight line, hold some sort of a straight edge there as you align them. Make sure that they're straight up and down. Now I'll take the sticky side of your craft paper and just roll them onto the letters. Since this is going on the back, you have to put a piece of the craft paper over the top of your design. As you flip this over and mount it back into the press. Put your design on your shirt, put craft paper over the top. Craft paper on top, and press for five more. You could also put a design on the sleeve. You have to center the sleeve with the seam that makes up the shoulder. Put your design on like this, cover it with craft paper, and press. After you've pressed your t-shirt, make sure you throw this piece away when you're done with it.